To be in with a chance of winning this emblem, simply drop a like and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to cover all we know so far about the new Age of Triumph record book. The recent Bungie stream which revealed this has not long ended and if you missed it I will have all your needs covered in a few videos talking about what was mentioned. Couple things to mention first though, the release date to the Age of Triumph is the 28th of March which lands on a Tuesday. They also mentioned as well that it, well, they didn't mention any costs so I'm guessing as speculated it will be 100% free. They also stated as well that light level will not rise. It will stay at its current light level and that maxes out at 400. Okay, so the Age of Triumph record book, the biggest record book Bungie has ever created for Destiny. This book consists of 13 full pages of challenges. It's important to mention though that these challenges the record book offers are account sculpt. So I'll do the challenge once and it's completed across all three of your characters. So let's check out the first page, this being the rewards page. Now I know what you are thinking, what the fuck, only 7 rewards from 13 pages? I thought the exact same but actually there are many more which are mentioned down the line of the video. These are rewards for Age of Triumph record book rank. The first five rewards are for reaching rank 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and are all emblems. The reward for rank 7 is called Wear Your Triumph. It states you have unlocked a personalised offer from the Bungie store in which you'll have to visit to learn more. What this is, it's basically an exclusive shirt for people who have reached that rank 7 in this record book. The shirt you can see on the screen now. No, it will not be free, so you will have to part with your money to buy this t-shirt, but it can be customised with your gamer tag. If you are wanting this shirt and are worried about completing the book, do not worry, as you do not need to complete the whole book to reach that rank 7. That is not the case, made clear numerous times by Bungie. Okay, so moving on into the record book and on page one, this page is titled Commemoration. You've walked a long road full of deeds and adventures. This page is basically a page that commemorates us as year one players. These challenges are those of which we certainly would have done way back in the day. And if that's the case for you, they will already be completed too. The next page is story, write your legend upon the stars. This page is full of challenges to do with completing certain missions, missions which you can see on screen now. Like I said, if you've already done these, you won't have to do them again. Now, as I mentioned earlier about there being more than six rewards we saw on the first page, notice when he clicks the nodes on these challenges, you see it fills the full page accolade, which in turn rewards him a separate reward from the rewards on the rewards page. They mentioned there are a few of these pages set up for giving us rewards by completing the set challenges on that page. The next page we see is dedicated to challenges you can only do on your Titan. The Titans will. The Titan is a force multiplayer, a bulwark against the darkness. Now the challenges we do see on screen now, interesting like the last page, this one also rewards you for completing this page. What that is though at the moment we do not know. Maybe an emblem or even something better. The next page is dedicated to the Hunter and then the Warlock. Page 7 is Strikes. Execute Vanguard Strikes to secure your legend. These challenges here are ones you will have to complete even if you've accomplished some of them in the past. The next page is Crucible, a game with these as well. If you completed some of them in the past, it does not matter. You will have to do them again to complete the challenge on this page. Notice the challenge historian. Here you will have to find all the dead ghosts on the PvP maps. Luckily, they made it so we can do this shit in private matches. The next page is Raids. With six guardians, take up arms and storm the darkness. What can stand against them? Now I'm going to do another video later talking about all the red info that has been confirmed so stay tuned for that. One thing to mention though is all the old raids are returning at a 390 light level. Gear from these raids will drop up to your current light level so if that's a 400, 400 light level gear will drop for you. Page 10 is collections, gather the riches and wonders of the star system. This page, Bungie State, is dedicated to collectors, people who love to collect ships, shaders, sparrows, grimoire and more. They do mention that not every single ship, for example, will have to be collected to complete this challenge, or these challenges, just the majority. 
The next page is titled Wanderer. You have gone far, seen much and heard echoes of the past. This again, kind of like the collector's page, find and locate ghosts, see the clusters, complete public events and disturbing the remains. If you are a year one player, you should know what this means. The next page, being the second from last, is titled Allegiances. This page is dedicated to factions and earning them ranks if you haven't done so already. Don't threat though, if your current rank is past that needed to complete these challenges, they will be ready for you to complete. We have Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, Future Warcraft, Vanguard, Crucible, Cryptarch and Iron Banner. Each faction will require a 25 rank to actually do the challenge. The Iron Banner will require 5 ranks. And notice the 8th challenge on this page requires you to complete all of the 7 and offers an exclusive reward. What that is, we do not know. Okay, so moving on to the final page of this record book, and that is dedicated to the Trials of Osiris. Now, me not being a massive fan of the Crucible or Trials, a lot of these things will never be completed for me. The first challenge title to the Lighthouse will already be completed for you if you've been there in the past. They do make this point clear. Notice the last accolade, which unlike the other pages which offer rewards for completing that page, this only requires you to do 6 of the 7 challenges to get this reward. And guys, that is it for this record book. Like I said, I have another video coming later covering what we know about the raid and what was mentioned. So stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.